This is a Dodge Ram 2500 V10 8 liter. If you look down inside the engine compartment here, you'll notice that my serpentine belt has been completely shredded and removed from the engine. This is the idler pulley. I replaced it yesterday. This is the tensioner pulley, uh, which I found out kind of the hard way that uh, it is reverse thread. So to get it off, you actually have to go righty tighty. Okay, following the diagram here, I'll put the diagram up on your screen. <clears throat> I've always found that it's probably better to go around the, the bottom area first, the most difficult area. belt running down over the top of the power steering pump down to the air conditioner over to the fan down to the crankshaft over to the hmm, what is that maybe water pump over to the tensioner and then up to well, not yet, because we have to adjust the tensioner to put it up over the top of the alternator. Now you'll see here that when you lift this tensioner, it puts enough slack into the belt that you can loop it up over the top of the alternator right there. You'll just loop it up over the top of it, then everything's connected. Now you will want to go back through and double check and make sure that the ribs that are on that belt are all lined up with the pulleys on all of your accessories. Once you visually inspect that, you're ready to start the car. That engine's really quiet now for a V10. No knocking, no strange whirring. I'm really pretty happy with the way things are going here. If you liked today's video, smash that like button. Ring the bell to be alerted to the next video drop. If you like the video enough to hang out this long, I have a weekly production schedule, so you might as well subscribe. Thanks for watching.